Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Obapa Kitchen. I believe everybody is having an awesome day. As you can see, I am here with another beautiful recipe for our bachelors. What you say? Yes, you just follow. This goes to you, okay? So if you are a single man or a single lady out there, you feel like you want to eat something delicious, okay? Very simple, local food. This is for you, okay? So we are here to prepare authentic a burn pine or palm nut soup for the batteries okay so guys <laughs> stay tuned let's get into the ingredients so as you can see on this side I have my meat right here you can use any meat of your choice you can use dry ingredients you can use fresh meat okay it depends what your taste is okay so I have my meat on this side I have my mushroom on that side as well and also I have some chopped onions I have my seasoning I'm using garlic oregano and some mixed spice on this side and I have my shrimp powder I have my salt I have my abemudro or palm nut paste I have some tomato uh, paste I have some half onion I have percocet I have a uh, bakushito on this side and I have on um, habanero for the spiciness okay so, alright guys so let's go ahead and prepare this soup I know after we are all done and crown a bit sham, mmm, but sounds why I did. Bit me a DB BLP, yeah, out here, see. Yeah, so let's get started. So now, guys, as you can see, we have our pot already on the stove, okay? So we are going to add our meat. Like I said, depending on what kind of meat you want to use, you can use any meat of your choice. This is Kotoje, that is cow feet on this side. And of course, I'm gonna add black chas to it too. I have black chas as well. And I got my lamb on this side. Okay, I'm gonna make a very, very delicious soup. Uh, okay, and also, I'm gonna add my mushrooms. And now, I'm gonna add my mackerel. So I'm adding some mackerel as well. Now I will add my chopped onion. I'm gonna add my peppers, the habanero. I got half onion. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of tomato paste. So this is tomato paste instead of fresh tomato. So yeah, go ahead and use it. Okay. And also, I want to add my seasoning. Add my shrimp powder. My salt to taste. And I'm going to add some hot water to steam the soup. Now we are going to cover it. Another steamer for about 10 minutes, then we will be back. Alright, guys, so now our burnt coin is been steaming for about 10 minutes. <laughs> we are going to take the lid out and then we are going to add the palm nut cream, okay? That is a bemudro right here. Yeah, so. Like I said, it's a big jar, so I'm not going to add all of it. I'm going to add some of it. Okay. Yeah, but I'm here, Papa. Yeah, so I'm going to add probably half. That is a lot of soup right here. So I'm not going to add all of it. This is very, very simple, authentic. A burn coin. And now I got some hot water. So I'm going to add it to the soup. So basically this is what my soup is. I'm gonna give it a little stir. We are friend of our quite revolution. What do you see? A quite revolution. Aha! Uh -huh. 
Mamma woman, what me say? I couldn't eat, pa. Mm-hmm. Of course, I have to add my percocet, but it's gonna be in a minute. So I'm gonna take the pepper and the onion so I can blend it and add it to the soup. Yeah. This is Obapas Bachara a Benkwan Revolution. Benkwan. Ehem ye pa. Yesha. I wish you more. Alright, guys, so I have my Percocet on the stove. So, make sure to. I'm going to roast this Percocet because I want the smell or the flavor to come out before I add it to the soup. It's very, very important. So, what you have to do is just take a knife and cut this side, you know, but side by side. Okay, so you can get like a little holes in there. So that way, when you roast it, the smell or the flavor of the Percocet is going to come out. Alright guys, so now our Percocet is ready and it's smelling so nice. So we can add it to the soup right now. You see the bubble that's coming out? That is what you need. See, I see it. Alright, so next we are going to add our onion. Blended onion and the pepper right here. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna use a little bit of water to rinse. Then come we home. See revolution your bank point plan. Come it slow. Come in your bed too. With bachelor style. Sure. Bed the hopper. And then I'm gonna add the rest of my tomato paste. Okay. At this moment, if you're using the fresh one, you can add it, but now we just added our tomato paste and I have some bakushito on this side okay and that is it okay you are done if you, have, if you don't have the tomato paste you can add fresh tomatoes as well okay yeah that is why I added the tomato paste okay and also I added some few bakushito on this side so basically you are done okay you are absolutely done so all you gotta do is just you're gonna cover it halfway and make sure you lower your heat and then let it boil okay until it is ready and of course make sure you taste the salt as well okay yeah so it will warm uh -huh. very very easy very simple Okay guys, welcome back. So our soup is finally done. So today, instead of enjoying with fufu or benku or emutu, today we are going to enjoy with gari fufu. It's okay, gari fufu. Gari fufu and the abenkwai and your deal. Gari fufu and abenkwai, it goes nicely. So this is what the Nigerians, I think they call it the eba. So today, I'm going to prepare Gary Fufu or Eba. So first of all, I've boiled some water. So I'm going to use the hot water right here. Okay. And I have one cup of Gary on this side. So we are gradually we're going to add the Gary right here. So this is the Gary Fufu. Okay. Make sure all the time you boil your water. Okay. Make sure the water is hot. Okay. That should be enough, so that's going to be just me. So right now I'm just going to add more water because it's going to be too sticky if I don't. And also I'm going to add some salt. Okay, make sure you add salt in your garlic food so you get the taste. Okay. Mm, so this is butterless recipe okay we are so just for recipe yeah the biana because i put it before a bit deep and fine you can enjoy with gary fufu as well i remember growing up we used to enjoy this very much very very fufu and then i've been fine i 
to all the time. Make sure you add your salt. And then you want this kind of texture, okay? Look like banku. See that? This is what you need. Make sure you stir. If you want it soft, you can add more water to it. So this should be good enough. And just like that, you are done with your gary fufu. Very beautiful. Alright guys, so as you can see, our soup is done and we are here to enjoy with gary fufu or eba. I think our Nigerians call it eba right here. So um, this soup is looking very nice, so I am going to dish it out. And that will be my my fish right there. Okay. I'm gonna add black chas on the side. Got my bakushito. Okay. And here is potuje on that side as well. And then let me take some lamb. Okay, I have my lamb right here. Yeah, and crane deer. Are you sure? Take more lamb. Okay. And you're gonna add it. Okay. Hmm. Wait. Bachelor phone coin. Bachelor a burn coin. So you have to have one point of B. Wait, shabu shabu, oh fear. We wait my word here. Huh? Now you want to enjoy? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. See, I see it. We stress the beer and I'm stress free. Soup is looking amazing, guys. Very yummy. So wonder. Hmm. You be the one. You be the. We need to own self here. So yeah, this is it. The brown wine. It's fine. Now. So guys, this is how I make my a suja a brown wine on this side. So I hope you enjoy this recipe. Give it a thumbs up. And for those who want to try this, please feel free and try. Try with the garifufu. Mm, it tastes nice. At the ankasa. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope you enjoy Try this recipe. Let me know how yours turn out. Okay. It's very important you try. A little bit of pando. Okay. So I'll see you on my next video. Love you guys. Bye guys. Look at my Like I said, back on to snap in chimu. It was so very, very complete. Mm hmm. Pepe. Alright. Love you guys. Bye.